coach, to your left, to your right, thousand point scores. What does that mean to you? Oh, I think it's all about them. You know, like they've had tremendous careers and it started before UTB, but we're grateful that that they were able to hit it, you know, representing our university and our team. And um, neither one of them knew it was going to happen, but their teammates all knew. Um, and so uh, I'm really proud of them. Um, and that's a milestone you want to reach as a player. But I also know they care more about the end result of the game. You know, so I'm thankful that we also won so we could all truly celebrate their amazing milestone. Emma Gray, just give your thoughts on you guys found out you guys passed a thousand times. Um, it was a, a great achievement, a great milestone that I was able to reach. Um, part of the reason why I came back to the game. So, like Coach Ray said, to be able to, you know, do that in a UTP uniform, given the opportunity, um, just a blessing. Um, it was good. I was very much surprised. But after last year, not being able to finish the season, being able to accomplish that this year was great. How does it feel to also have that home success uh, here at UTP? Um, it, that's always great, but it's even better being able to win and do great things um, from people we love, like our family and friends. Um, our, all of our overall goal is to win, so when you're able to do that, especially a 2 0 weekend, um, awesome feeling. And then speaking about you guys, I haven't watched too many games, but from what I've seen, Dre, you're more of a catch and shoot, the drive to the basket type player. Cam, you're more off the dribble. Mm -hmm great contact down the lane. Just the coach, what does that mean for you to have these type of scores? I think, you know, Dre and Cam both can score in a variety of ways, which makes them very difficult to guard. And to be able to play um, both of them at the same time is a challenge for a lot of teams. But I think in addition to them, we have so many pieces that can be on the court at the same time. Uh, where they're very good distributors. You know, when they don't have something, they find somebody that does. You know, Michaela didn't have a great week, but the girl can play. Morgan had a great week. Uh, they, they do a great job of giving the ball to our post players. You know, so I think what's great about these two is they make scoring plays. They can both shoot. They can both drive. They can both knock down, you know, pull up. They're both aggressive on defense. And they both share the ball really, really well. And they don't have to put a ton of weight scoring-wise on their shoulders, just kind of let the game come to them. And I mean, I'm ha very happy and lucky and blessed to be their coach because they're they're just amazing people and their game speaks for itself. How does that versatility, I mean, what is it that makes those rotations in this lineup so hard to beat, uh, even in a tough Lone Star Conference like this? I think anytime you have five people on the court, they can all score the ball and have built some chemistry together. It makes it difficult and they share the ball really, really well. Um, you know, I think we just have different types of players as well. Um, we've got three scoring double figures and then Av right behind. So Cam, Dre, and Q are post. They're all 10 or above. And then we have people right behind them. Um, and the fact that anybody, it could be anybody's night, you know, and we don't go to the game thinking, Cam, you've got to score 25, or Dre, you've got to score 25. It's This is our offensive game plan, and everybody has to do their job. And and then kind of see how the defense, you know, our opposing uh, team, the defense matches up. And, again, just let the game come to them and make adjustments when we need to. And I think sometimes it's great for us to be aggressive, and we have the capability to do that with our athleticism and our speed. But I also think we have people that can really stretch the floor. And we are winning against our opponent every category. And I think one big area is are the boards. And I think that's an area that we really kind of dominated at Last week, especially Thursday, um, we, we pulled more boards down, and Morgan Helgeson was a big key to that. I think it's all, all the players. Um, I think our players do, do all that. We can have the best game plan, but they have to work hard. They have to execute it. They have to be bought in, and they have to believe in themselves and believe in each other, and I think this is the most confident team, and I think – um, experience has helped that, um, you know, being experienced, um, knowing that, hey, we lost to Eastern and Western the first round last year, and knowing that we missed the game, uh, the tournament by a game really, really uh, helped our mentality just be sharp and be hungry. But at the end of the day, I think we have a lot of confidence in each other's abilities um, and in ourselves. And again, this team kind of celebrates each other. So 
playing for each other to kind of help to take it to another level. And that's what these players do. Um, so I think a lot of it has to do with just their drive and their motivation and their desire for the other people in the locker room to be successful. Well, um, Love Christian is, is a very good basketball team. Now, I think anybody you play in Lone Star at this point in the season is going to be a game. But Lubbock Christian at Lubbock Christian is kind of another level. You know, they shoot the ball really well. They defend really well. They're second in the league for field goal percentage. They're first in points allowed. So, I mean, our prep started today, kind of like Coach Tolan said. He did more today than he probably would have. I think it's great that we have three days to prepare for Lubbock Christian because there's a lot of stuff to prepare for. And going there um, is is a definitely a tough place to play. But, you know, we just have to make sure our game plan is solid and our players are fresh and healthy and believe in it and go out there and execute. It's it's definitely a game that we can win. Um, and that's what we're looking to do. For anybody, really, uh, how do you take that success you've had on the home court and, and take it on the road with you starting with LC? I, I like being on the road. I love being at home, but I like being on the road because – especially this week, we don't have any distractions. I mean, it's just basketball. So um, I think Lubbock Christian in particular is, is a difficult place to play, though. I think it's just knowing that and going in there, knowing we're not going to get many foul calls, um, knowing they shoot the ball really, really well at home, um, knowing they're probably the most successful team in the country at home, makes us have a stronger mentality and be a little bit more focused going there. And so I don't mind being on the road. Um, home, away, the game's the same, you know, so it doesn't matter where we play as long as we bring it. During last season, you guys were 6 and 8 in the close of the season. What's different about this team this season and how they're ready to Um, After last season, we really reflected on, like Coach Ray said, missing the game or missing the tournament by one game. I think this year, having so many returners, having so many seniors, then adding Cam, just the right pieces. Um, there's a lot of leadership, and one of the things we work, we really strive for is consistency. So I think the more consistency we have, um, it comes in handy when closing big games like ones this week. Coach, there's one part of the game on Thursday that I want to highlight. Uh, it was close throughout the whole time. You decided to go one three one. Just talk about making that adjustment. And seeing what the, uh, what seeing. Oh, really? I just didn't think that they would see it coming, you know. And um, so I wanted to hopefully have an opportunity to steal some momentum. And the girls went out there and executed and, and did just that. But really, it was just more strategy. I think that they were probably ready for a different defense. And so when we mixed it up, I think it kind of put them back for a second. And and then made their point guard, you know, a couple more possessions down the court, have to see what we were in to slow their pace down really helps. But, but I think it's the girls knowing that, that we need to go out there and make a play, and they did that. Um, just to piggyback off of what Coach Andre says, the, the team mentality, um, the coaching staff and the players, um, knowing what everyone has to do and has to bring um, to the program um, is the reason why this team has been successful this year. Um, we all have one goal every day is to be a three. Um, so as long as we strive for that, success will continue to come and winning will continue to happen.